Hey, what up, America? It's your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV on YouTube. And you have just tuned in to Sports Talk Los Angeles. Now, the trending topic right now in, in the Los Angeles area is the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, this is that dead time of the um, sports in Los Angeles, but usually the Los Angeles Lakers back in the heyday will be thinking about the playoffs and all of that. But right now, I wish I had that sound by playoffs. Playoffs? But right now, man, it's not looking too good for the Los Angeles Lakers, man. It's really not looking too good for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers dropped one to the Clippers last night. 113 and 105. Now, the question is, where do we go from here? Because if somebody would have told me, if somebody would have told me after the uh, LeBron James, the great King James, decided to make his uh, take his basketball skills to the Los Angeles Lakers, that they'll be sitting sub 500 at the past the halfway point of the uh, season. Now, LeBron James, King James, is 13 points away from passing Michael Jordan as the fourth leading scorer in NBA history. Now, the Lakers played the uh, Denver Nuggets on Wednesday, 7.30 at the uh, Staples Center. Game will be broadcast live on ESPN. But if I was the coach, as soon as he scores one point over 13 points, whether it's 14 or a three-pointer, you know, or it's, it's 13, 14, 15 points, as soon as he scores over 13 points, that threshold, and passes the GOAT, the greatest player in basketball history, Michael Jordan, I would contemplate sitting him for the rest of the season. Because this situation with LeBron James has, has caught the Laker fans off guard. And I don't like to consider myself as a fanatic, but that's what, what uh, fans stand for. But the biggest story this summer was when the Los Angeles Lakers signed LeBron James this summer. That was the biggest story. And I've watched Michael Jordan play his entire career. I watched Kobe Bryant play his entire career. I watched Shaquille O'Neal play his entire career. And when the Lakers signed Shaquille O'Neal, that was a big deal. And we got instant, uh, instant reaction from that in terms of making the playoff when he was playing with Nick Van Exel and, and uh, Eddie Jones. And it was some young talent around. But then when Kobe Bryant came into the mix and they traded uh, Vladi Divac uh, for uh, Kobe Bryant, that was the, the next level in terms of getting to that Kobe era because we had a magic era, which was the Showtime era with Kareem and James Worthy and all those uh, superstars. And then you had the Kobe and Shaq era. And then when Shaq left, it was the Kobe era. Now, LeBron James signed a four-year deal. Now, this year right now, okay, he's going to need either win the next three or the next two out of three. But even still, the Lakers are not looking too hot right now. I mean, I, I have an issue with what's going on in Los Angeles because all the young talent that we that we traded away. I remember when the Lakers picked D'Angelo Russell, we had an issue with him. And now when we play Durant, D'Angelo Russell, I, I, you can fact check me on this, but I think he scored 40 points on us. We traded away Julius Randle. Julius Randle lights us up every time we play them. 